So we don't really use these towel racks. There happens to be a rag here, but um, most of the time they're just always empty. My wife has always wanted to have a mirror there, some type of medicine cabinet. Well, we have one, but it's been sitting in this box, I think for about a year. And I've been afraid to kind of tackle this because I've got to do a little bit of demolition. I don't know where the studs are in the wall. I mean, it could be that the studs are perfectly positioned, but I know the cabinet is 16 inches wide and typically studs are 16 inches from center to center. That probably means I've got to do some cutting and reframing, I don't know. Then there's this outlet right here. I don't want to have to deal with electrical or whatnot, so I'm just gonna cut out the sheetrock and cut out the two by four that's right here and frame it in and kind of create a box around where I want to put in. I've never done this before, but um, it should be pretty easy, right? I've got 22 inches of space, so I think I just want to center it. So on the bottom, two and three quarter inches above the outlet. It hangs out a little bit over, but there's gonna be plenty of space. So this is the part that's gonna get a little messy and I'm hoping I don't find electrical wires running along the stud here. Okay, so I should have gotten the coolest part, but that's when I, I whacked it. So yeah, there's not gonna be enough space to like have these wires go behind it. So I'm just gonna cut out this one stud to there, you know, top and bottom, and then I'll just put a support going horizontally at the top and at the bottom. So the question is, I've got these live wires coming down to this outlet. Even if I make them flush against the sheetrock on this side, it's gonna push the mirror out. Like the mirror is gonna go all the way up against the sheetrock right here. We basically need the full width of the two by four, the three and a half inches plus the half inch of the sheetrock, and that's the full depth of the cabinet. So I don't know if there's enough slack in these wires to like push them over. What would you suggest? Oh, I just pulled it out. <laughs> All right, so off camera, I've consulted with two different electricians. Talk about my idea. And I've gone to Home Depot, I've gotten some, I learned what 12-2 wire is. It's got 15 feet, which is more than enough. Got a junction box, so I could do this and stay to code. Got some wire nuts, I was calling them wing nuts, but they're wire nuts, I suppose. And then I got a plate cover. I'm gonna put the junction box in the closet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this out and mark line and load, and then I'm gonna have the wires, or these, these wires here, run this way around. I'm gonna have a junction box here, but just in the closet, so we won't see anything here. I could do it there, because the mirror is gonna come like this, so I could potentially run a junction box sideways. By the way, I did turn off the breaker so we don't have live wires here. This black and this white go up to this one. So this is load. So I'm gonna mark that load. I wanna put in the junction box. I'm trying to decide which way, but I need to put in the junction box. But before I do that, I just need to make sure that the hole is the size that I want it. Um, I held up the medicine cabinet to it and it wouldn't quite fit in. So I need to probably use the tool and, and shape it a little bit more. I'm having a harder time cutting the wood and then I'm like, why is this not working so well? And I'm remembering because I broke off, I'd say 75% of the teeth on this when I was trying to cut the screw. Another option I have is I have a Dremel tool. So my next task is to cut out a hole for that junction box, wire it together, run the new wire down, rewire that outlet, and then I've got to keep in mind the framing that I want to do, you know, keep this sheetrock secure, keep the medicine cabinet firm in there. I just got to figure out how I can do that and make sure I can get the wires through. Like I've got to drill a hole if I'm going to put a board across. Okay, 
better idea, I'm gonna start just drilling through the plastic. Got it in there, and I've got plenty of length of wire to come back down to the outlet. Now I've got to, I'm not gonna connect those now. First, I've got to create the board that's gonna go across here and drill a hole through it that I could feed the wire through. And same with the second one down there. And I've gotta decide what I'm gonna do on this side, but I can put the plate on. I can make this look nice. So I cut a piece with, you know, that's the right length. It's a little bit short, just the way that I cut it, but I got it a hole drill through it. And now I'm just gonna pre-drill screws. Probably not gonna put a board on top at all. And then I'm gonna run the line back behind and have a channel. So a board that doesn't quite go the whole distance and I'm just gonna drill it up. get more supplies or more tools that I don't have with me. So I came up with something that I feel like I can finish this tonight. I created these two blocks. I measured them. This is for this side. This is for this one. All I need is an anchor point. So I've got one anchor point right here to this stud and to that stud right there. And I just want an anchor point on both sides so that the cabinet will be secure in there. And so as long as I can put this in here, there we go. And then this one's right about two and a half right there. So I can screw these into the other stud that's in here and then have an anchor point. Now, if it isn't obvious, I am no electrician. This is my first time ever doing this, so do not do what I do. Learn from an electrician, but this is how it was when I opened it up. This is what they did with the ground. So there was already this hole in it, twisting the two grounds together. And then I can connect the one ground to the outlet. These are load, this is line, let's get them connected. Wish I had some needle nose, but it's actually looking pretty good. excited about it. I'm pleased how everything has turned out. I actually do think that the reason that this side is pushed out a bit is probably because the power cord is right behind that back corner, but I don't want to deal with it because I realize this plate is so low that if it were flush, I mean, it would hit and I can't cut that much. So, I mean, lesson learned, I've got to give myself the full space between junction box and the outlet. But anyway, so I'm very pleased with it and I'm just going to make the edges look pretty. All right, so it's not perfect. It would look a lot better if I painted it, and I'm not gonna do that, and I'm not gonna close the door either, but I can show you on the other side. I got it looking pretty good. I mean, normally there is a big black line there because of the gap, so now there's no more gap. But I gotta leave the door open for it to dry. I'm pleased with how it turned out, and I think my wife is gonna be happy as well.